Ever wondered what makes Star Wars such an enduring cultural phenomenon? It's a saga that began in a galaxy far, far away and quickly became a global sensation. This epic space opera with its compelling characters, intricate plot lines, and breathtaking visuals has captivated audiences of all ages and backgrounds. With its universal themes of good versus evil, hope and redemption, Star Wars transcends cinema. It's an integral part of our global culture. Star Wars isn't just a movie series, it's a cultural phenomenon that spans generations. It all began in 1977 with a film that would change the face of cinema forever. The movie? Star Wars. An epic space opera that didn't just tell a story, it created a universe. The storytelling was innovative to say the least. Star Wars wasn't just about good versus evil, it was a saga about redemption, friendship, and the enduring spirit of hope. It introduced characters that are now icons in pop culture, not from the wise yet quirky Yoda to the charming rogue Han Solo, and of course the earnest and brave Luke Skywalker. But it wasn't just the characters and the story that made Star Wars a phenomenon. It was the special effects. Groundbreaking and awe-inspiring, they transported audiences to a galaxy far, far away, making the impossible seem possible. The original Star Wars film was a game changer setting the stage for everything that was to come. With its blend of adventure, drama, and philosophy, it gave birth to a new hope in cinematic storytelling. The success of the original film gave birth to the original trilogy. The Empire Strikes Back and Return of the Jedi followed, enhancing and expanding the Star Wars universe. The Empire Strikes Back, with its dark undertones and unexpected twists, took the audience on a thrilling ride. It deepened the complexity of characters, especially Darth Vader, whose revelation to Luke Skywalker became one of cinema's most iconic moments. Then came Return of the Jedi. This film brought closure to the epic struggle between the Rebellion and the Empire, and to the personal journey of Luke Skywalker. It showcased epic battles, heartwarming reunions, and a satisfying redemption arc. These two films, with their unique blend of adventure, drama, and philosophical depth, significantly contributed to the Star Wars saga. They enriched the narrative, expanded the lore, and deepened the emotional connection fans had with the characters. The original trilogy cemented Star Wars' status as a cultural pillar and set the bar high for future installments. The 90s saw the dawn of a new era in Star Wars with the much-anticipated prequel trilogy. This marked a bold step in the Star Wars saga. As creator George Lucas returned to the director's chair, to expand upon the story of a galaxy far, far away. The prequel trilogy began with Episode I, The Phantom Menace, in 1999. This film introduced us to a young Anakin Skywalker and his journey from a slave boy on Tatooine to becoming a Jedi apprentice. The film also brought in new characters like the wise Qui-Gon Jinn and the young, agile Obi-Wan Kenobi, while reintroducing the iconic character of Yoda. Following The Phantom Menace, were Episode 2, Attack of the Clones, in 2002, and Episode 3, Revenge of the Sith, in 2005. These films delved into the dark transformation of Anakin Skywalker into Darth Vader, the rise of the Galactic Empire, and the near extinction of the Jedi Order. However, the prequel trilogy wasn't as warmly received as the original. Critics and fans alike were divided over the film's heavy reliance on computer-generated imagery, the inclusion of comedic characters like Jar Jar Binks, and a narrative that leaned more towards political intrigue than the classic space opera style of the original trilogy. Yet, these films were not without their merits. They offered a deeper exploration of the Star Wars mythology, introduced a whole new cast of characters, and presented some of the most memorable lightsaber duels in the franchise. Despite the mixed reception, the prequel trilogy played a crucial role in expanding the Star Wars universe. It provided a rich backstory to the original trilogy and delved deeper into the lore of the Force. It turned the Star Wars saga into a grand tale of rise and fall, redemption and betrayal, spanning across generations. Despite their controversial reception, the prequels introduced a new generation to the Star Wars saga. They showed us a different side of the galaxy, one that was more complex and layered, and set the stage for the future of Star Wars. In 2015, Star Wars returned to the big screen with a new trilogy. The sequel trilogy sought to bridge the gap between the old and the new, a formidable task. 
It was a bold attempt to keep the spirit of the original trilogy alive while introducing new characters, themes, and a fresh narrative for a new generation. The Force Awakens, the first film of the trilogy, was directed by J.J. Abrams, who had the Herculean task of rekindling the magic of the original Star Wars universe. In many ways, this film mirrored the narrative arc of A New Hope, the film that started it all. Following this, The Last Jedi, directed by Ryan Johnson, took a more divisive turn. It challenged audiences by subverting expectations, and while some fans appreciated this boldness, others were less forgiving. This film, perhaps more than any other in the franchise, sparked heated debates among the fan community. Finally, the rise of Skywalker, once again helmed by Abrams, aimed to tie up loose ends and bring the saga to an epic conclusion. The film faced criticism for its attempts to appease every fan theory and its perceived undoing of the narrative choices made in The Last Jedi. The sequel trilogy also introduced us to a cast of new characters. Rey, Finn, and Poe became the new faces of the Star Wars universe, each with their own journey and destiny. They stood shoulder to shoulder with the beloved original characters, from Han Solo to Princess Leia, in an attempt to bridge the generations. While the sequel trilogy faced its fair share of criticism, it also had its triumphs. It successfully introduced Star Wars to a new generation of fans while keeping the old ones engaged. It pushed the boundaries of what Star Wars could be, even if not everyone agreed on the direction it took. The sequel trilogy, while divisive, brought Star Wars into the modern age. Beyond the main saga, Star Wars has expanded into television, animation, and standalone films. This expansion has led to a diverse and multifaceted universe that's as vast as the galaxy itself. Let's start with the small screen. Television series like The Mandalorian and The Clone Wars have introduced us to new characters and worlds while further exploring the intricate web of relationships within the Star Wars universe. They've given us the chance to dive deeper into the motivations and backstories of characters who might have been overlooked in the main films. And then there's animation. Series like Star Wars Rebels and The Bad Batch have not only brought fresh and exciting narratives to the table, but also a whole new visual style. These animated adventures have allowed us to experience the Star Wars universe from a different perspective, one where the boundaries of reality don't apply. Standalone films also play a crucial role in expanding this universe. Rogue One and Solo, A Star Wars Story have taken us on side adventures, filling in historical gaps and adding depth to the overarching narrative. These films have shown us what's happening beyond the Skywalker saga, providing a more comprehensive view of the Star Wars universe. Moreover, the expanded universe isn't just limited to visual media. Novels, comic books, and video games have also played a significant role in building the Star Wars universe. They've offered unique storylines, explored the more obscure corners of the galaxy, and given fans countless hours of immersive entertainment. All these expansions have one thing in common. They've deepened our understanding and appreciation of the Star Wars universe. They've filled in the blanks, added layers to the characters we love, and created a universe that's ever evolving. These additional stories have enriched the Star Wars universe, making it more diverse and expansive than ever before. From its humble beginnings to its modern incarnations, Star Wars has left an indelible mark on pop culture. This enduring legacy transcends generations and continues to resonate with audiences around the globe. It's more than just a movie franchise. It's a cultural phenomenon that's been embedded into our collective consciousness. The impact of Star Wars on popular culture is immeasurable. It's not just about the unforgettable characters or the epic space battles. It's about the timeless themes of good versus evil, the struggle for freedom, and the power of hope. These are universal concepts that resonate with us all, regardless of age or background. Star Wars has also paved the way for a new era of storytelling. It's inspired countless filmmakers to push the boundaries of what's possible, to dream big, and to create worlds that captivate and inspire. The influence of Star Wars can be seen in countless films and TV shows, in literature and art, in music and fashion, and even in our everyday language. But perhaps the most enduring aspect of Star Wars is its ability to inspire future generations. It captures the imagination, sparks creativity, and encourages us to dream.
It's a universe that's rich, diverse, and endlessly fascinating, with a depth and complexity that continues to captivate. Star Wars' enduring appeal lies in its timeless storytelling, unforgettable characters, and a universe that continues to captivate audiences worldwide.